So I have never seen a Scream movie and I'm about to watch every single one of them. To prepare for this journey, I went to several stores, including Spirit Halloween, and bought a bunch of different Ghostface merch, like this shirt I'm wearing. I have some other stuff for later in the video as well. I do know the killer's name is Ghostface, but I was kind of shocked how much Ghostface stuff is literally everywhere. I didn't realize how popular the Scream franchise was. Everybody loves it. I was watching vlogs from Spirit Halloween, which sounds kind of funny, but I was. <laughs> and anytime somebody saw a ghost face item, they're like, oh, I have to get this. Anything ghost face, immediately buying. And I'm like, why? I don't want to be left out. I want to know why everybody loves Scream. So as I'm about to jump into the first movie, I'm wearing my shirt. I'm about to make a ghost face inspired cocktail to celebrate finally starting the Scream franchise. So when I was looking for recipes for a drink to make for this movie, I stumbled across something called the ghost face. And I'll link it down below. But in the video, they used ghost peppers, you know, cause ghost face. I don't wanna do that. I like spice, but not that much spice. <laughs> So this recipe calls for blood oranges, tequila, chamoy, grenadine, and lime juice. So what I know about Scream, I know that there are, I think six movies, a seventh one I think is on the way. I know that the first one came out in 1996, which ironically enough is actually the year I was born. So can you really fault me for not having seen them yet? A lot of people are probably gonna be like, yes, you, sh you should have seen them by now. <laughs> I know Jenna Ortega, I think is in either the most recent one or one of the recent ones. And I've heard people refer to her as a scream queen and I don't really know what that means. I do know Drew Barrymore is also in the first movie I'm about to watch right now as well. Oh my gosh. Why is that it? <laughs> All that work for that? Adjustments, adjustments. So this is my take on the ghost face. Mind you, I had to make several adjustments because I got the portions completely wrong. So if I mess it up, it's my fault, not the person who invented this drink. Hmm. It's actually really good. It tastes like a blood orange margarita. Oh, scream. Why is that so loud? Oh my gosh. We're already screaming and we just started. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies. Uh -huh. Scary movies. You have to have a favorite. This person on the phone is freaking me out. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Is phone guy the killer? Your popcorn is gonna burn. Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up oh. on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, understand? Oh my gosh! Is some kind of joke? More of a game, really. Game? Like, don't hang up the phone? His name wouldn't be Steve, would it? Oh! <gasps> you know the boyfriend? How do you know his name? Did he kill Steve? Turn on the patio lights. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> what the heck? Dang, this movie just literally jumped right into it. No build up, nothing, just we're right in the killing. Turn off the light. You'll see what kind of game. Oh, this is creepy, but in a fun way. <laughs> oh my gosh, her name is Casey? Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! Oh, ja Jason! Jason! Wait, I'm getting confused. You should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Boris, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. Oh crap, I got spoiled. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> Dang, not even 10 minutes in and we got organs all over the place. Final question. Are you ready? What about her popcorn? What door am I at? <gasps> oh my god. How is he in like 10 million places at once? Oh, your popcorn. <laughs> what is his end goal in life? Like just to torment people for fun? Play some trivia? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's spooky. 
Somebody please take the popcorn off the stove. It's gonna burn the whole house down. <gasps> Why did I get a jump scare? Oh my god. <laughs> she watched him. <laughs> oh, Steve, you're gonna have to leave Steve. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh! He stabbed her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, who are y'all? Oh, is it her mom and dad? Oh my god, that's so scary! Wait, wait, she gets to see his face and we don't? No! Oh my gosh! Uh-oh. Oh, is it the boyfriend or the daughter? Oh! What the heck? That was one of the craziest movie openings I've ever seen. They just put you right on in there. I thought she was gonna be like the main character, I guess not. It's just me. Okay, so we have our next victims. I wonder if we're gonna get a reveal of who Ghostface is, but also part of me doesn't know because there's so many movies, you know? Did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox next to her spleen and her pancreas. What are you doing fucking trying to eat? They have the strangest way of insulting each other. Never alone. <laughs> it would be too obvious if it was him. You know, he's just the first one acting suspicious, like, ooh, gut somebody. <laughs> nah, no way. Although this is not the first time this small community of Woodsboro has endured such tragedy. Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, <gasps> was found raped and murdered. Oh, oh my gosh, that was her mom. Was it the same person, though? <gasps> Is this the call? Is this the call? Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. <gasps> it's the call. Why do I get excited? Who is this? You tell me. Oh my gosh, he's doing his thing. This is a special move. With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. Is he just obsessed with horror movies and wanted to create his own? So, who are you? The question isn't who am I? The question is. So he kind of has the same formula he follows. Dang, she just walked right out the door. He has no fear. She could change him. Nice try, Randy. Tell Tatum to hurry up, okay? Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. <gasps> Does that mean that you killed her? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh, he's already here. What the heck? Are we just gonna go like from girl to the next? <clears throat> Come on, Sydney, fight back. Be the one. <gasps> She's not like other girls. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, well, Billy might die. What? <gasps> what is that? Is Billy the killer? <gasps> what is going on? All right, hold your hand. I'm not letting anybody in. I'm not just anyone. She has a sense of entitlement. How's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh. I'll look for it. I'll send you a copy. <gasps> oh! Hello? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it from the moment she picked up the phone. Always those phones. Boyfriend. An innocent guy doesn't stand a chance with you. Looks like you fingered the wrong guy. Again. Again? Stop right there. I'm not here to fight. I just need to talk. Camera, now. Off you the record, no camera. Forget it. Please, you owe me. I owe you shit. You owe my mother. For what? How do y'all know each other? Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Somebody was gonna write a book about it. Oh. You got what you wanted? Cotton Weary's in jail, they're gonna gas him. But you don't think it's actually him who did it? Is he innocent? I think you falsely identified him, yes. And has his story changed? Not one word. He admits to having sex with your mother, but that's all. He raped her. Are you sure about that, or was it an affair? You'd rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me it's not about that don't even go there billy i was attacked and nearly filleted last night i mean between us you haven't been the same since her mom since your mother died well what do you think he's killed i can't believe you're bringing this up no it's been a year and don't even be with him find somebody else oh my gosh when my mom left my dad i accepted it. it's the way it is uh your mom leaving your dad is different than that leave this guy i want my girlfriend back well, you're never gonna get it. Bye! 
<gasps> I knew he could come to school. Thinking there she's safe at school. Yeah, right? He could show up so easily. What a horrible thought process that she would just be fine. <gasps> the outfit. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can't tell if it's one of the students or not. Have you located Sydney's father yet? Well, he's not a suspect, is he? We haven't ruled him out as a possibility. Hmm. It's also very weird that you can't find him. Damn little shits. Would you call me? Didn't that look like Freddy Krueger? Is that supposed to be the joke? <laughs> I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street yet. For him too? Really? The principal? So would it be somebody who had a vendetta against the principal too? Dang, now I feel like I wasn't paying attention enough. I'm the first to admit it. If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. I can't tell if they're trying to be like, okay, you don't know who it is, you know, like out of these people? Or if it's somebody completely different. Uh-oh. Is she next? <gasps> but her boyfriend told her to get the beer here. Would it be that simple, you know? The one that made the weird comments from the beginning? There's no way. <gasps> oh no! Is that you, Randy? Are you the real one or are you a prank? Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Oh my gosh. Do you want to play Psycho Killer? No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <laughs> so meta! Oh, you're gonna get killed and you're not gonna be in the sequel. Attack him back. Like, get your own weapon. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you fight back. Oh my gosh. Stab him with something. Crawl out the cat door. Oh no, you can't fit, can you? Oh my gosh, you're gonna get killed in the cat door. Oh my gosh, no. to think it's not him like it can't be right because he was in custody when it happened but like I don't know he's still suspicious but honestly he's suspicious too especially because he was like go get the beer in the basement or whatever in the garage and then she died right after but like would he have left the party in that time too it's so confusing I don't know who it is really I am the one who's been selfish and self-absorbed with all I mean your mom freaking died you can't call yourself selfish for that it's all a movie. You say stuff like that and then it makes you sound like the freaking killer. Like, what is going on? Are there multiple? Oh my gosh, what if they planned it? What if they're all in on it? All those three. You say the weirdest stuff. Excuse me, man. I thought maybe we'd walk. Okay. Got a flashlight. Might be trying to do Riz, though. Everything is suspicious to me. What the heck? I can't, like, pinpoint any clue. And it's frustrating, but, like, in a good way. Because, like, I have no idea. Like, it could be anybody at this point. But, like, some things logically don't make sense because people wouldn't have been in the places they should be for them to be the killer. But if it's multiple, then maybe. This is Neil Prescott's car. Sydney's father? Yeah. He died. I just don't believe that it's the dad the whole time. What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Even if he's not a killer, he still freaks me out. <gasps> oh, oh my God. gosh! Sydney. It's Sydney. not him! Oh. It's not freaking him! It wasn't ever him! Oh my gosh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! That's so sad! To be fair, he was like my third in line. Well, maybe second. <laughs> Wait, is that the same one? Oh. Do we have a shotgun? Can we get out a shotgun? Why do I literally still think it's the, the boyfriend of the friend? I forgot his name. Cause he left and said, I'll be right back. And like, he wasn't there anymore. Jamie, Tom. No, behind oh. you, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, <gasps> the camera, the hidden camera. Oh my gosh, they didn't know. It already away. happened. Freaking, it already freaking happened. Drive away. Drive the freak away. Oh my god. Oh! Lock it and drive. 
Eva. <gasps> Is he gonna hit? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I was like, is she gonna hit her? Oh my gosh, this situation is just awful. You don't even have a freaking getaway car now because you crashed it. Sydney. Oh, uh, is he okay? Oh no! No! Drive away! Somebody, please, just drive away! Oh crap! Wait, what the heck? Wait, no, wait! I don't even know what to believe anymore. He did it! He did it, Cindy! No, but you don't have any blood. Please, Cindy, oh, fuck you both! Please. I'm so, like, conflicted on who it is. I still feel like it's the friend's boyfriend. The left. Oh my gosh, he's still alive? What the heck? How are you alive? <laughs> No. no, 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 don't go outside. Give me the gun, it's okay. it's okay. Wait, no, I don't trust this. This is strange. This is weird. I'm concerned. <laughs> Stu's flipped out. He's gone mad. What? Yeah, <gasps> ah! <laughs> Was it really Billy the whole time? I mean, he gave crazy signs. Was it? Is that what that? But then who stabbed you? They I'm were sorry. in on it together. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. Oh my gosh. It was him. It, the both of them. The both of them, wasn't it? Surprise, Sydney. Oh my gosh! Why did you kill my mother? Why? I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? Okay. You did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was You a just love to be psycho. Town like she was Sharon Stone or something. You know, I knew I had vibes. I freaking knew it, but it didn't make sense, and I was confused. My mother was fucking my father. <gasps> oh my gosh, there was more to the story. Total abandonment causes serious deviant. No wonder you were all weird up. earlier. You sex with a psychopath. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. A scream. We killed her exactly one year ago today. Oh my gosh. Attention. <gasps> the dad. Yeah. Yeah! I'm ready, baby! Kill the both of them. <gasps> Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh! What the heck is wrong with them? Billy, I guess I got a little too zealous, huh? Or are they gonna like have a psycho off right now? Kill each other. You're both crazy. She said everybody dies, but us everybody dies. But us, we gonna carry on and plan the sequel. Sequel. You gotta have a sequel. <laughs> ah! I'm waiting for one of them to get upset and kill the other one. Movies make psychos more creative. Oh my gosh. How did y'all two psychos find each other? And we're like, you know what? Let's kill. Where the fuck is it? Right here, asshole. Oh yeah, weathers. Works better without the safety on. Oh, the safety was on. Are you alone in the house? Bitch. You bitch, where the fuck are you? We're gonna play a little game. <laughs> it's called Guess Who Just Called the Police and Reported You. Sorry, motherfucking ass. Oh! Find you, dipshit. Get out of the cab, Billy. Oh, you caught me too deep. I think I'm dying here. Oh my gosh. My mom and dad are gonna be so bad. You're weird. Oh my gosh. Does she have the mask? Oh my gosh. Kill him. Uh, I always had a thing for you, Sid. What the heck? Uh, In your oh, dream. This TV. Uh, oh. Okay, come on. He's the last one. Let's get him. Say hello to your mother. Ah! <gasps> uh, oh! oh. The safety's not on now. Careful. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Oh, oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, just like a movie. 
So that was Scream. You know, they had mentioned Wes Craven too during the movie. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love the plot twist at the end. I thought I knew what was going on and I feel like I kind of got it half right because I thought it was the friend's boyfriend. And then like for a minute, I thought it was the actual boyfriend or whatever, but it was both of them. What the heck? Because I need the exact same. I'm about to watch Scream 2. I ended up making a ghost face charcuterie board and I spent way too much time trying to carve this ghost face out of brie cheese. But I'm gonna eat this, watch the second Scream, get cozy. This is gonna be a little more cozier. I'm also very curious how there's a new ghost face because in the last one, they died. So like, are we just starting over or is somebody getting inspired? I don't know, but that's literally what I've been excited to watch the second one about because I wanna know where the next ghost face comes from. So these are my Spirit Halloween ghost face pajamas. <laughs> just chilling and killing. Got Gengar right here, got Jigglypuff. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, look at the decoration <laughs> of the hand. There's so much ghost face everywhere. What's going on here? You will sit through a movie called Stab. Oh, Stab, it's called Stab? That's so funny that it's like us after watching Scream, the first one, now we're watching a movie kind of about it. Like, this is literally everybody like on Halloween with their ghost face masks from Spirit Halloween. Wait, wait, what? This is the scene from the first one. What is it? That looks so much like Drew Barrymore. I mean, that was the point, right? <laughs> this is such a wild experience, like watching other people watching a movie while watching the movie. <laughs> My gosh, she's gonna die in the bathroom. Like they think they're all fine, just watching a movie about some killing a long time ago. Was this what it was like watching the first Scream in the theater? Anybody who did that, tell me what it was like in the comments. Has anybody in the comments seen every single Scream movie in the theater? That'd be pretty cool. There's so many ghost faces, I can't trust any of them. Oh! Oh! oh my gosh! What the heck? Ew, in the ear! Uh-uh, see, if that was me, I would be out of there. Well, you're gonna have your opportunity. Oh my gosh, is he gonna kill her right here? You better get away! Oh, crap! Oh, like they're watching on the screen and it's happening right here. Oh my goodness. Literally right in front of everybody. Nobody even notices. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What the heck? These movies really have such great openings. Like they just get right into it and just like murder. <laughs> Like, it's just like, yep, you're watching Scream. Wait, is it her again? Hello, Sydney. <gasps> What's your favorite scary movie? Corey Gillis, 555-01-76. She has caller ID. Who'd want to do that? Sequels suck. Definition alone, they're inferior films. It's bullshit generalization. Many sequels have surpassed their original. <laughs> So meta. Name one. Aliens. Far better than the first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste. What? They don't think Aliens is better than Alien? I mean, Alien's good, but like, Aliens is great. I'm gonna just hang around. I wanna make sure you're safe. I know I said it like three times, but I love how in this movie, the inspiration for the next next killer was because of the first killer being made into a movie and like books written about it. That's so cool. Do you have any comments? Bitch. Share with us, please. Oh! Well, they still have beef. We had an official interview. What's going on? She didn't know? Man, that was cold. Well, Gail has always been about the story. Even, but like, that's like messed up after everything they went through, you know? Like, anything to better her career. Do it. The drama I was waiting for. What, what happened to y'all? Why don't you just leave her alone? Since you've been through enough. Deputy Dewey filled the room with his Barney Fifeish presence. Oh, she wrote about him. Mm, hold on, someone's calling. Oh, <gasps> you're getting a call. Omega Beta Zeta. Hello. No. Oh. Omega Beta Zeta. Hello. 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 Hello.
Omega Beta Zeta. Omega Beta Zeta! <laughs> no, some creep asshole trying to scare me. Call the police! Cece there. Mm hmm, who's calling? Wait, but he's not on the phone. Are there two again? I mean, I guess they would get inspired from the movie, right? From the two. Hello. Oh my gosh, I remember those phones. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Don't answer the phone. Why would you even answer? Don't answer it. You know what happens when you answer the phone. Oh my gosh, why is she answering the phone? Why would you do that? Remember me. Just be like, then walk right on out. Then why don't you show your face, you fucking coward? Oh, I'm okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's just outside, so it's not him. Gosh, like your whole life is having to freaking run away from ghost face. <laughs> N run away still? No. Oh, Derek's dead. Derek died. He's dying. Oh, <gasps> Derek got stabbed. Unless it's part of it. I don't trust anything anymore. The first movie ruined me for trust. You are not alone, Sid. We are all here for you. And any one of you could be him. Like I said, I just don't want to see you get hurt. And I don't want to see you get hurt by anybody other than me. It's probably not him. I feel like that'd be too convenient. But then again, I said that last time. Isn't that a big frat faux pas? Oh yeah, that is a big no-no. See, you're not supposed to give your Greek letters to your girl. Protect you. Oh, the protection of the fraternity. Well, let's hope he's not the killer. Let's just hope. So what kind of research did you do for the part? Oh, I get, get it. Book. They get Tori yeah, Spelling to spell place it, oh, and they catch yeah. Joe Blue. Wait, why did I not even realize that was Tori Spelling? <laughs> Didn't they make fun of that in the first one too? <laughs> the guy. I'm innocent. <laughs> so freaking funny. Sid, I think you <laughs> just do And that's what's his face. I forgot his name. Who do you think's the killer? How about Gail Weathers? Gail? Gail? Like to have more material? I don't think so. But I don't think she would do it. Well, nah. Well, nah. What if it's Salt, the other reporter? She needs a scoop. I need some distance. Do I get a say in this? No. <laughs> I guess I'm Not really. Speak. No, you're the killer. Are you, you're acting all weird. No, I don't know. I don't know. Gail's not here. I'm not interrupting anything. <gasps> I, the girl, the boys. Thought. Am I close? Closer than you think. <gasps> Too slow, geek. Oh. Do you want to die? So if you get his movie right, does he not kill you? Is like that the thing? Where's your innovation, huh? Why can't He's in the building. Stu was a pussy ass wet rag. And Billy Loomis, Billy Loomis, what the fuck? Dang, he's really telling him. So <laughs> the freaking van! <gasps> oh! Okay, somebody noticed that? Oh no! He died! We're talking prime time, Sid. You, me, and Diane Sawyer. Cotton, I can't. Mm, we're gonna look. Mm, he's weird. It being very weird, and it could be because of like the story, but it also could be because you're literally a murderer. Everybody thinks I'm some kind of psycho killer, and all I'm asking for is my little fucking dying. Or story. are you? To maybe get my side of the story straight. Now I don't think I'm being uh, unreasonable in that request. I feel like he just everything he went through just made him, you know. I bet you're real sorry, Sydney. Such a good angle, Sydney. Oh my God! Lovable and fucked up Sydney Prescott, everybody's <laughs> favorite little victim. Yes. Wow. wow! Oh my gosh! Gail! Gail! Oh, I can't hear you. Oh no, he's gonna die right here, right in front of her! No! Do we? Oh my God! That is so awful. Oh my gosh. Oh man, Gail. When this is all over, I'll still be here. 
He's saying weird stuff like the guy said weird stuff last time and then he turned out to be the killer. Like he's making me think it's him. You gave up your letters. And oh, it's sorority thing. But no, but he's one of them. This is strange. Sororities and fraternities are strange. Sorry, not sorry. Now I feel like it's not him though because he's gonna be there. So where are you taking us anyway? Well, if we tell you, we'll have to kill you. Not funny. Yes, <laughs> oh my gosh, you just scared the crap out of me! Oh my gosh! I was not freaking expecting that! I knew these bodyguards wouldn't do anything, they literally did nothing! Oh my gosh. But now I'm feeling like it's not Hallie then, right? Oh crap, you were in front of the car! He just ran you over! Oh, you're dead. You're gonna fly off the car. How is he still on the car? You know what? I'm impressed that he stayed on the car this whole time. Oh, I take that back. He should not have stayed on the car. Oh my gosh! That was disturbing. No. Is he actually passed out? Ah! I mean, he has a freaking thing through his head. Yes, he's dead, but get his gun. Oh my gosh, that's so wild to be that close. Take off the mask, at least. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be awake. He was waiting. You could have got a weapon first. Don't. Passed out? Oh wow, okay. Well, that's convenient. Is there not like an unlock button? Literally kill him! Kill him! This whole time we could have been killing him. She needs to like at least see who it is. Please, let's just go. Stupid people go back. Okay, smart people run. We're smart people, so we should just get the fuck out of here. We can just get the police. Yeah, and when we come back, he'll be gone. It will only take a minute. I have to do it. I hope she sees the gun. Just like bam, <laughs> like that. Just like that. Oh dang it! He's gone. Oh no! <laughs> She died because of it! Oh my gosh! It wasn't Hallie. That's really sad, to be honest. Get the gun, get the- Oh, she didn't see it. Dang, you had the opportunity to look, too. Wait, why is he bloody? I found Dewey. I tried what? To no, no. I'm gonna assume that you're telling the truth there, because that's odd. The killer wouldn't just come out with blood on their hands, like, showing who they are, though, you know? That's like... Strange. What's the this is an emergency. Get me the police. What's happening? The killer cotton fucking weary. Cotton weary? No, I don't think so. I don't think it is. <sighs> ah! Oh my gosh. Who is that? Oh no, it's the boyfriend. Oh, he's alive. Derek. Boom, but is this a scheme? We never know. We never trust boyfriends and scream. Right here. <laughs> You're fast, Sid. Did he bring him here or did he get hazed here? What the heck? You really want to trust your boyfriend? Oh, <gasps> that's what Don't I'm you saying. Know history repeats itself. Hmm. Wait. What? Mickey? Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? It was you the whole Since time? Since Derek here disappeared on my ass, I've been on my own all fucking night. <gasps> Thanks a lot, partner. You motherfucker. City's Seriously? crazy. You know me better than that. What, the, what is going on? I don't know what to believe. I can't. I couldn't have possibly done this alone. There's no, it's not Derek. He's just saying that. It's okay, Derek. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sid, he's lying. Oh my gosh. Oh my Sid, gosh. The man is lying. What are you gonna do with Sid? I don't feel like he I, it's not Derek. It's not freaking Derek. He just like obsessed with movies and wants to make a sequel good or whatever, because he hates sequels. I don't know. You are dead! Dead! Oh my gosh! Oh, 
Oh, it wasn't Derek. It went. Oh my gosh. Derek, you didn't deserve it. I'm sorry, I thought it was you for like two seconds. City just cannot catch a break. I mean, poor, he's completely innocent. He's such a nice boy. You are freaking crazy. This was just the kind of boy you'd like to take home to mom if you had a mom. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. Billy let you talk to him this way. Billy was a sick fuck just like you. No. She's like obsessed with her Mickey, and just. Sick fuck who wants to get caught. Yeah. See, I've got my whole defense planned. Why? I'm gonna blame the movies. Oh my gosh. Crazy. These days, it's all about the trial. Can you see? Yeah, oh my gosh. Violence on society. And they had been talking about that at the beginning. I'm oh gosh. Yeah. There's always a psycho. That's what Billy was good at. Oh, the sorority thing. What is that going to do? Are you going to choke him? Well, you're forgetting one thing about Billy Loomis. What's that? I fucking killed her. <gasps> and she's going to kill you too. Put the gun, Sydney. That sucks that like she had an actually good boyfriend this time and he died. So who's doing that? What well, is it? There, oh, because he said I have to have a partner. <gasps> ah, what? Oh, okay. Oh, I knew it. Did I not? I said it was salt. Salt. Mrs. Loomis. What? Wait, Billy's what? Mother. The mom. Nice twist, huh? Didn't see it coming, did you? What the heck? Oh my, so she was never around Sydney this whole time. Had to have financing. What the expensive. heck? Freaking crazy family. Yo, it definitely runs in the family then. There's only an estimated Psycho website? active serial killers in the country today. So, making so they just find. did a meetup? Definitely meet up? one on the way up. Wait to the trial. It is gonna rock. Not gonna be <gasps> She's gonna kill him. Ah, just like the first movie. Kind of. The one, and she's the brains. Oh, go! Dang. I love the twists at the end. Like, you expect it, but you don't. He was a good boy, but my God, that whole blame the movies motive. Did you buy that for one second? <laughs> Poor boy was completely out of his So mind. what are you gonna do? No, I'm very sane. Oh, could you blame her? Even though she, your son killed her mom and tried to kill her? You killed my son. Your son was freaking crazy. You're as crazy as mm. your son was. Mm-hmm. What did you just say? Is that a negative, disparaging remark about my son? Oh my gosh. He definitely got it from you. It's not wise to patronize me with a gun, Sydney. Randy spoke poorly of Billy, and I got a little knife happy. Mm, Randy. That's why she killed him? Death saying that it's all the parents fault it all starts with the family you want to blame someone why don't you blame your mother oh my She's gosh the broke up my family. oh i forgot about that dynamic too that's an extra layer dang you don't know what it is to be a mother well it's definitely not this isn't mickey supposed to be dead <gasps> oh! Oh! smart thinking Which one is finally gonna fall on her? Finally? Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind, I was wrong, I was wrong. Where's your ax? You left it? Oh, come on, Sid. You can't be killed by his mother. Oh, who shot? Oh, Cotton! Oh my gosh, Cotton came in clutch! Let me kill her. As long as she's alive, you're never gonna be the lead in the story. That's what you really want, isn't it, Cotton? He is if he takes you down. And you're the only survivor. You're the star. No, but he could be the hero. She he could be the hero. For a year. Technically, it was your son's fault, so. I mean, she makes a good point. <laughs> no, he's just going with it. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview's looking real good right about now. Consider it done. Oh, the interview? <laughs> Well, welcome to the Scream movies. Oh my gosh. Make sure she's actually dead. He said, you know, we should probably talk about what exactly happened here, you know? I mean, get our story straight for the... You have to confirm. <gasps> ah! 
There's always somebody alive. Somebody get me out of here. Oh, it's Gal. Okay. She did? No. Doesn't hurt to double check. <laughs> oh, he was the one. <laughs> they always come back. Dang. She just like got shot and she's getting the... Who's alive? Do we? <gasps> He's survived! Yay! <laughs> Scar tissue. Oh my gosh. You got saved because you got stabbed in the last movie. <laughs> hey, she didn't care about the scoop for once. She didn't care. Sydney, can you tell us how it feels to be a hero? Talk to Cotton. He's the hero. He's, He's finally going to get his moment in the lights. I still feel sad about Derek. I'll tell you one thing. We'll make a hell of a movie. Uh huh. Meta. So Scream 2. I love how these movies are like so predictably unpredictable. Like you know what's gonna happen because they kind of like, well the other two I've seen. Like they followed the same formula. The second one was kind of almost like j poking fun at the first one. But like done in a, a very well done way. You still don't know what's gonna happen because like they set up so that it could basically be anybody and they could be working with anybody at any time. But then they still somehow find a way to surprise you with the twist. It's so much fun trying to figure out who was actually the killer the whole time. But now since they went off the, the thing of getting inspired from the first one off of a movie, and I guess I mean kind of revenge too for the son, like what is the third one gonna be? I'm ready for screen three. I have my shirt, I have my tea and my ghost face mug. It's funny how it just says ghost face on the back, but the front is super cool. So it is currently a dark and stormy night and a haily night as well, like golf ball sized hail, which is pretty crazy. It's a perfect night to watch a spooky movie, which I don't really know if you consider Scream like spooky movies, but I mean, I think it fits. They're definitely on brand for Halloween. Okay, so are we gonna go with the two victims at I mean, the beginning of this I'm movie too? My reputation as the host hey, this Cotton, no what the heck? Nationally syndicated talk show to do a cameo on some cheap slasher flick. Oh, Cotton is a big star now. <laughs> He's gonna do a cameo, what the heck? Oh my gosh. What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. <gasps> right outside her bathroom door. Wait, what the heck? How did we go from that to that conversation? Let's play a little game. Uh oh. Right. Your girlfriend lives. It's daughter Sydney. Still? We're still looking for Sydney? Dang, Sydney literally has like the worst life. <laughs> like somebody is always trying to kill her. She came out of the shower with like a full face of makeup. Oh my gosh, they're playing Creed. Oh my gosh, don't kill her to Creed. He's gonna kill her to Creed. Okay, good, the Creed got turned off. I can't handle that. This isn't him. You're not gonna believe what just happened to me. What are you talking about? Oh crap. <laughs> Is he using like a voice distorter or changer or recording? No, he's using a voice recorder. Don't, ah. Uh, who would it be this time? Like whose relative are you? So that's the name of his show, 100% Cotton. That's hilarious. That's just such a good name for somebody whose name is Cotton. He didn't kill her? What the heck? Christine, get out of the Oh no. Oh. oh my gosh. Behind you. Oh crap. Was it to do it in front of him? Ah. Come on, Cotton. You didn't get out of prison, clear your name, become a celebrity just to die. Oh, he died. Oh, he's dead. Dang. It was a simple game, Cotton. <gasps> you should have told me where Sydney was. Now, you lose. Oh my gosh. So it was a voice changer. So there are the two people. These movies always start off with two people dying and then the rest of the movie is kind of about that. But it's sad that it was Cotton. Like typically it's two people, well in the first two, it was two people who didn't really have much part of the story, but he was like a big part. 
I wonder how many of these movies are gonna follow Sydney. Like even the newer ones? I wonder if that's, if she's still in them. She has her security system and everything. Sydney, maybe you should own a gun. Maybe you should own like 10 guns. Oh. Does she work from home? She does counseling? I'm here because- Oh my gosh, it's freaking McSteamy. I mean, McDreamy. I got to give you, it's McDreamy. It's not McSteamy. McSteamy's the other one. It's McDreamy. Oh, so Stab 3 is now in production. We're literally watching it right now. It's so meta. Oh, Stab 3 ret return to Woodsboro. Does that mean we're gonna go back to Woodsboro in this one? I know we've never met, and I, I don't mind you never returning my calls, but I have to- Is this play- Jensen. she's playing Gail? Like, I am in your mind. Okay, we don't need somebody else obsessed with Gail. We know what happened last time. Uh, Jennifer, Nick said you wanted to- you. Oh, he's here? What are you doing? Well, surprise, surprise. Wait, is he Someone dating her? What? The, how is Dewey just I always around? I really appreciate my character work in this one. Someone's helped me understand the real you. This drama transcends time. No press on set. Get that woman out of here. Where is Detective Kincaid? Oh, I am working with Kincaid, Dewey. Rules, right? rules are rules, Gail. But really, it was great seeing you. I don't know how I'm feeling about Dewey. Like, I don't feel like he would be doing anything, but also he likes to just show up. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but like also like, why is he always here? Do you ever think about her? Like your mom? Your mom? None of this would ever happen if she hadn't had the affair. Yeah, she shouldn't have done that, but you also can't blame her for these psycho crazies and then the ones getting inspired by the other psycho crazies. That's just cause they're psycho crazies. What is that? La Llorona? Like, what are you? The mom? Is she dreaming? This is just a dream. Whoa. Is it? Ah! Oh my gosh! Still a dream? Or we like to have ghosts now in, in the Scream universe? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Everything you touch, Sid, dies. This is a nightmare. You're just like me. You're just like me. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I hated that sound. Oh, what? Wait, what? Nightmare. I was like so confused for a second. Is that a metaphor for what's going to happen to you? <laughs> Come on. Who is this? I think you have the wrong number. But you know my favorite name? I'm hanging up right now. It's Sarah. Roman, it's not the line. Oh my gosh, it's him. Your name's Sarah, isn't it? It's not just a new script, it's a new movie. <gasps> and you're in it. What movie? My movie. And it's called Sarah Gets Cured Like a Fucking Pig. Oh my gosh. Him and his dang voice recorder, so you never trust phones in the Scream universe. We don't trust boyfriends, and we don't trust phones. Oh my gosh. <gasps> ah, dang. Two months ago, the Woodsboro police got a call from a woman who said she was with Stab 3. A month later, the station gets broken into. Oh, it was him with the voice recorder. I mean, I keep saying voice recorder, but you know, voice changer, or whatever. Someone on the film He's trying to find Sid. Mm -hmm. I said off the record. Oh, you know Gail, she always has to get the story. Are they trying to like just finish the job? Or who, is it the dad? Imagine if it's like the dad, like who? Who else? Why do I feel like this movie's gonna have like a huge twist, right? Because it's like, okay, how many times is it just gonna be like, a relative of somebody or oh just somebody else from wherever else she is and she's not in school anymore so like who else could it be and is it going to be two people again look at the buildings the second story there and there oh it's the same, it's the same street 28 years ago oh what the heck Marine prescott was at the back line at sunrise studios what are the chances of that well come back inside and stay with jennifer something's happened i have to go to the police is that an order do drop? Cause Aren't you supposed to be doesn't work the freaking you. bodyguard and you're just not going to pay attention? Or is this the killer? There's no killer in here. Waiting oh my gosh, this might be the killer. Sister. I can't believe you said that. That makes me... <gasps> it was the freaking killer the whole time! Okay, everybody stay in 
this one room. Oh my gosh, he's up and walking? Oh my gosh. Don't panic. <laughs> Everybody literally panicked. The facts? Well, that'd be the first in Scream. I wonder if in like the newer movies they text or something, you know? Oh gosh, they're doing us a, a, a scene. The killer prepares to grant mercy to only one of them. Oh my gosh, this is too stressful. Oh my gosh, that was dumb. What is it? This is too chaotic. I can't believe he went back in by himself. Wait, what does it say? Whoever, what? Whoever oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Dang, so it was the move to be outside and not go back in. Oh my goodness. Oh! No, get out! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wait. For real, you shot him? It seems too soon. Where'd he go? He just rolled out of the car. Right. Close. You did shoot him, right? What if he was wearing like a bulletproof vest or something crazy? He's fast. Could have sworn I hit him. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. If you didn't hit him, that's weird. That's sus. It might just like sus for the wrong reasons. I don't know. I don't. I have trust issues from Scream. They always find a way to come back <laughs> together. The oh. <laughs> happened to you? Jennifer, wait a minute. Who gave you a place to stay? Who are you supposed to be protecting? Oh my gosh. Oh, get <laughs> I, I like literally don't know who to trust. I'm freaked out. This is so weird. Oh, is it of Maureen? You killed her? Taking credit for Maureen Prescott's murder. What? But we know who killed Maureen Prescott. Billy Loomis and Stu Martin. Yeah, what, what is going on? Was it not them? But they said. Unless they were just being crazy, which they were. Okay. Is it weird that I'm getting <laughs> sus of the detective? Yeah. I feel like that doesn't make sense, but like, hmm. He wanted to draw Sydney out. But then this person would have had to have gotten her phone number, whoever it was, so like, how? The usual small talk, let's know how you been, how you wanna die. <laughs> the usual. Like, been through this so many times. Told you I'd make a movie someday. Uh, my gosh. Oh my god. The reason I'm here is to help you so that my death will not be in vain. This is so weird. Like, how would you have even known, you know? I mean, I guess that was the point. It was like, just in case. If you find yourself dealing with an unexpected backstory and a preponderance of exposition, then the sequel rules do not apply. Because you're not <laughs> dealing with the sequel. You are dealing with the concluding chapter of a trilogy. Oh. I mean, we have been having the exposition. So if it is a trilogy you are dealing with, here are some super... Trilogy Ooh. rules. Okay, this is fun that, like, the last one we were talking about a sequel. Shooting him won't work. Basically, Here. in the third one, you gotta cryogenically freeze his head, decapitate <laughs> him, or blow him up. I mean, we did shoot him and it didn't work. Anyone, including the main character, can die. This means you, Sid. Oh my gosh, yeah, because it's the trilogy. My gosh, this is so cool. Did they intend this to be a trilogy then? Like, they literally tell you pretty much what's gonna happen, but like not in a, a specific way. Photo was taken at the studio. Her name is Maureen Prescott. Back then it was probably Roberts. Hey, are, are you? No. <gasps> oh, oh! I've been all my life. It's uncanny. <gasps> oh my gosh. I was this close. So who gets it? The one who sleeps with George Lucas. Oh my gosh. I love that Carrie Fisher's in this. Um, what are you doing? Why do you have the ghost face mask? Oh my god, I'm Angelina Tyler, I'm you! I mean, I'm not. I'm That's not. weird, what are you doing? I wanted to make you proud, Sydney. Were you like obsessed with her? Like, what the heck? <gasps> it sounds like wind. <gasps> Oh, she's going back in. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, you just kind of like boxed yourself in by going back into the house. Like, oh, it's happening again for the third freaking time. Oh, not the mom's voice. 
Oh, is this when the mom was murdered? Give mommy a kiss. <gasps> oh my goodness. I saw her doing. Come on, let's go. I mean, you saw a sheet. Mm, I don't trust you. The one who's playing her. It was in the 70s. Everything was different. I was well known for my parties. Mm. What happened? Nothing happened to her that she didn't invite in one way or another. You say <gasps> I'm saying things got out of hand. Oh. Maybe they did take advantage of her. Oh my gosh. You want to get ahead in Hollywood? You're going to play the game. He seems like movies detective. Hmm, detective sus detective. I know what it's like to see ghosts that don't go away. What? Scary movie in your head. I feel like they're trying to make him seem kind of sus, but now I feel like it's not. Riley here. Hey, Sid. I'm with Gail. We're on our way to see you. No, listen, I'm not at the station. John Milton called me and said he had something to tell me, something about my mom. I'm going to meet him at his house. <gasps> no, this is him. It's not Sydney. They need to stop being so trusting. Stop being so trusting of everyone and everything. No, and Sydney's here. Where? Where's Sydney? She's right there. Oh my gosh. Not Sydney. Sydney. Like, I'm Gail and she's Gail. Are they all involved? No, that's too much, right? It's too much. Like, all the actors? No, I don't know. Well, the more, the merrier. God, this house is incredible. Right, come on, start being, get suspicious. Why do I feel like it's fake Sydney? I bet, basement. He's taking her down to the basement. This is weird. Is he about to kill her? Or are they about to get killed? <gasps> What? Whose phone is that? Oh! Oh crap! That means it's somebody here, right? It's either somebody here or he's in the house. Roman! Jennifer! These things are freaky. Oh! Roman? Is Roman in the casket? It's gonna be him. Ah! Roman's in the casket. When would he have gotten stabbed? Wait, what the heck? When, when did you get down here? Oh my god. I do not trust her. Okay, Angelina's about to die, and then I'm gonna have to. Oh, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, maybe Angelina's fine. She was just putting on a persona. She's gonna die. Oh, it's not her. I was so wrong. They led me on with that one. Of course. Why? Oh my gosh! What the heck? He just came in and punched him. Come on, Tyson. Get out of there, Tyson. No. What the heck? Was that a secret door? Uh, oh. oh! Oh! The mirror's moving. Get out! Stand back, Gail. You can come out of the killer stab three! I'm the killer! Oh! oh she was the killer in stab three? <laughs> Gail? <gasps> oh, come on. No, not Gail. Not Gail. Wait, that's a fake head, right? By the basement. I'm trapped. No, is this oh, is this a fake call? Why do I not trust the call? How do I know that this is you, Gail? Not oh no, now what if it really is her and now he doesn't trust her? Oh my gosh! Don't you think that's what the killer would say? Oh my gosh, it's really her and he's not gonna believe her. Why are you just standing there? Like, who are you? Gail, why didn't Gail try to kill him? Like, she, he was out. Why, when they're passed out, nobody just tries to kill them? Like, take the knife and slit their throat. He's right there. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, she had another gun. Yeah, you go, Sydney. Oh, dang. No, but. 
but we talked about them not being able to get shot, right? They're like superhuman or something in the third movie. So what's about to happen? Something weird's about to happen. He's gone. How are you surviving? He has a bulletproof vest. Is it a detective? He would probably have a bulletproof vest, right? Oh, mm. but they want us to think that, right? Uh, oh no, I don't know. No, I don't think so. It's not Kincaid. Thought I better check it out. Alone? Where's your partner? Okay, maybe. I don't know. I'm so conflicted. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to feel. No! Oh crap! It's not freaking Kincaid. Oh my gosh! No! Oh no, the mom's voice. What is even happening? Like, what is going on? I was so <gasps> The movie yeah. she was in. She loved me. She'll remember your mother. Who are you? I literally have no idea. Like, I'm stumped. I have no idea who this is. Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. Okay, well, we knew you had a bulletproof vest. The other half of you. I searched what? for a mother too, an actress named Rena Reynolds. Tried to find her my whole life. Are you her sibling? Oh, I actually dragged her down. Knocked at her door thinking she'd welcome me with open arms, but she had a new life and a new name. <gasps> she shut me out in the cold forever. Her own son. Roman Bridger, director. Oh! And brother. What? She slammed the door in my face and she said I was Rena's child and Rena was dead. I did not expect that in the slightest. What the heck? Your boyfriend didn't like seeing his daddy in my film too much. He didn't like it at all. But once I supplied the motivation, all the kid needed was a few points. Oh, so he kind of influenced him. This is all because of you. Wow. So you like facilitated the whole thing? I had no idea they were going to make a film of their own. So why are you punishing her for her mom then? Pay for the life you stole from me, Sid. For the mother and for the family. I feel like you're t blaming the wrong person, dude. Would have been mine. God, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? <laughs> I've heard this shit before. Stop. You know why you kill people, Roman? Do you? Don't want to hear it. Because you choose to. There is no one else to blame. Ooh, you tell him, Sid. You fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this brings sibling rivalry to a whole new level. Hey. Lose something. Oh, Found with the knife. <laughs> oh, crap. But that looked like it could have been in the side, right? <gasps> um, that definitely was not in the side. Oh, my gosh. Did she really die? No, but they're never really dead, right? She's going to come back and kill him. Come on. We remember the rules. Ha <laughs> ha. Roll reversal. <laughs> ah, there you go. I shot you. Oh, a bulletproof vest. Look at that. <laughs> wow, y'all could have actually gotten to know each other, you know? I still got to make my movie. Okay. Step three, right? Oh! Dang, that was so messed up. He was so messed up. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Be careful, Sid. Randy said the killer's always superhuman. <sighs> I don't know about this one. Superhuman at all. Oh my gosh, he's literally superhuman. <laughs> they always freaking wake up. Wait, why is... Oh, he's wearing a bell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Next time, let's just aim for the head. Will you sign up for me? You are nuts. <gasps> oh, they are going to be together together. Oh, my gosh. That was a cute way to propose. Oh, okay, good. Y'all should be together. I feel like you've been through so much. Off and on and off and on. Just commit already. Um, what's that about? 
hey, she's not afraid. Was that supposed to be like her getting over the fear? Like it was just the wind. Scream 3 totally did not expect that twist at the end at all. Like that is not where I thought this was going. And it's interesting because like it did feel kind of like a conclusion. Like I wonder if this was supposed to be just three movies at first. I think the next one came out like significantly later if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know if it was like a reboot or if they kind of continued the story. But it, I mean, it felt like this was kind of like the conclusion because the brother had facilitated it all kind of from the beginning. And then it was also super meta because of the movies in production the whole time based on the previous ones, especially just seeing the actors playing the characters and them interacting. And that was kind of just like a theme throughout. And then also how they would kind of tell you like, okay, these are the rules of a sequel. These are the rules of a trilogy. And then you watch the movie kind of follow those patterns. And it's, it almost feels like it would spoil it for you, but you don't get spoiled because you don't really know because everybody feels suspicious and then you're like, oh, I was wrong. And I am definitely looking forward to the next one. I'm really interested to see what is it gonna be about? Are we gonna get the same actors or what? Scream four. That was really dumb. <laughs> Time for Scream four. <laughs> I also went back to Spirit Halloween. I got this jacket. It says 96 Ghostface, which I couldn't help myself because 1996 is the year I was born. I made another cocktail for this movie. And this one's more of a dessert kind, I guess. I don't know, it had a lot of milk in it. This is the first time I'm trying it. It's kind of like, I, I think like a white Russian kind of, you know, like with the milk, but it has a lot of chocolate in it. Kind of nice, like a milkshake. So this movie is interesting because it came out 11 years after the one I just recently watched, the third one, which in that one, it kind of seemed like they were making it into a trilogy and like that was gonna be the final movie in the trilogy. At least that's what I kind of took from it. So I'm wondering if they decided all these years later to like, hey, let's make another Scream movie or if they had always planned on reviving it eventually. I doubt it though, just because because of how long it took to come out with the next one. But I mean, who knows? We'll see what this one's like. What did you say, Anthony? It just looks like you poured cocoa powder. <laughs> that looks nothing like those things. It's because I drank out of it and it shifted during flight. <laughs> Starting with the phone, always with the phone. Oh my gosh, Lucy Hale. I knew her from Pretty Little Liars. What the heck? It's ew. Changing. Why did I say ew? <laughs> it says I'm not outside. I'm right beside you. Ah! Oh crap! Oh my god, she wasn't Lucy Hale at first! Oh no, Lucy Hale! Okay, but what was the motivation? Fucking kiss. Stab six! So oh my gosh! Suki! So the death of horror right here. Why is everybody in this movie? And that's um, what's her face? Sarah Marshall. Yeah, Sarah Marshall. I forgot her name. <laughs> I'm just like talking to Anthony casually. And her name's Anna Paquin, not Silky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are these gonna be the actual two girls who get killed in real life? There's always two at first. These sequels don't know when to stop. They just keep recycling the same <laughs> shit. Even the opening scene. Oh my gosh, are they being meta again? Also predictable. There's no element of surprise. You can see everything coming. What? Oh my gosh! What? Wait, what? I've seen it five times and it's still- What is going on? Is this Rick and Morty? Why does this feel like a Rick and Morty episode? What is happening? It's like the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. A movie within a movie. Okay, now who's gonna stab who and we're gonna do stab eight? The first three, the original trilogy, is based off of Sidney Prescott. Stab five has time travel, which is by far the worst. Time travel? What? Okay, wait, are we in stab eight? Or 
Is this real life? <laughs> ah! Oh, okay, this feels real? Oh, there you go. I said, there you go. <laughs> hey, she's still going. I feel like these movies, now on the fourth one, I'm desensitized to some of the killings. Ah, we had another garage moment. Oh my gosh. And here we are in the actual scream. So they were the two. Oh, he went back to being a cop. Did you fix your spinal damage or whatever? <laughs> Hayden Panettiere, why are you being like this crazy in the morning? Who is this extra in the morning? Sheriff, you're not cheating on your wife if you eat my lemon square. Um, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> She's ghost face. Somebody cares about you over here, you know? Remember, we never trust boyfriends in the Scream universe. So that's already immediately a mark. Let's go to the trunk. There. What the heck, the trunk? Well, somebody planted it, right? <gasps> Ooh. Okay. No. Well, Sydney, your life literally sucks. Whoa. Even if you were. Oh, don't treat me like I'm the media. I help solve these things. Three times, remember? They seem like they're going through something. No, seriously. Uh, hey, they're watching Shaun the of the movie. Dead. Okay, Look, Anthony. <laughs> How's the movie? What movie? Shaun of the Dead. They know you're watching Shaun of the Dead? What? Because I'm standing in the closet. Is he really in the closet? Kirby! <gasps> Wrong closet, maybe? Sydney's? Oh, oh crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Perkins! Did the cops not hear anything? What are they doing? They're not there? What's the point? No! Oh! No! Ew, what the? Oh! <laughs> Gross! I don't think they've ever shown entrails before like that. Welcome home, Sydney. Preview of coming events. Oh my gosh, who are you this time? You said you were the angel of death. What? Oh! Cops, unless this is the cop. That's the thing, is like you never know who it actually is. Oh, go, Sydney! You took classes, didn't you? Oh, now, finally. It? Wait, where's the girl cop? Jill? Don't. Oh, don't blame Sydney, stop. This is Rebecca. Sydney Prescott, please. <gasps> it's kind of hard to hear you. I'm in the hospital with Sydney. If you could just hang on one second. <laughs> I've got time. Oh, no, you should have gone back into the building. He's gonna be in the car. You should have gone back in. Please tell me you locked your door. No! Ah! Okay, well she's trying to go back into the hospital now, but I don't know, it feels like it's too late. Oh, no. oh crap, it's locked. Ah! My gosh. Who are you? And we are very close to bringing this whole situation under control. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. I may not be wearing a uniform, but I happen to have a lead and you don't. So let me know when you're back on Team Gale. Move that character! Why is Gale like my favorite character? Well, if you want to be the new, new version, the killer should be filming the murders. Well, that's making y'all suspicious, right? But that seems too easy. Again. Working on less of a shriekle and, and more of a scream make. Copyright terms, by the way. Uh, that's all there are now. Are shriekle and a scream make? I mean, that's gonna come back, right? This little filming thing? There's some Stabathon. Stabathon? Uh, it's a movie marathon. Okay, so that's gonna be like the party of this movie? The third act or whatever? Her room's all boarded up. That's the view from my cell. They're so casual for their friend have just died. <laughs> Oh yeah, there is definitely a murder happening here. Oh, Gail Weathers and her hidden cameras. She likes to put cameras at parties. Robert Rodriguez, what? Like he made Stab in this universe? <laughs> Why is this kind of a fun concept for a party? Like they just watch movies together. <laughs> 
their own cameras? At least turn it the other way. <gasps> oh my gosh, behind you, Gail! Gail, Gail behind you! <laughs> no, Gail never dies. She doesn't die, that's her thing. <gasps> ah! Oh wait, no, it was on the side. He's recording the murders this time. He's making the movie. Like a literal movie. <gasps> is he just sleeping or is he... No! Oh, he's just messing around. They are not taking, taking their job very seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh, ah! How is he still going? How are you alive right now? Like, what is even happening? How has he gone this long? Fuck Bruce Willis. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just read the subtitles. I have no idea. I just turned and saw him stab in the head and say, fuck Bruce Willis. What's going on? The killer called. He's coming after me. But he wants my family first. Oh, God, you. Out the front. Ah. Let's get out of here. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, she got stabbed through the door. What the heck? Why were you like that on the door? Hicks, what are you doing? I just saw somebody coming around the side of the house. Ooh, Hicks, I don't know. I don't know. So, what's the story? What? You sent me a text message. After <gasps> Kirby Kirby's house. She didn't send it. I mean, it was from your phone. Was it Ghostface? Oh, he's about to show up here. Why do I feel like it might be Kirby? Kate Roberts is dead. Where the hell were Haas and Perkins? They were found dead in their car two blocks away. No offense to Dewey, but he's not doing a good job of being a sheriff. Oh gosh, and they're drinking so much. I feel like everybody's making bad decisions. Like murders just happened in your town to people connected to you. You're drinking a ton, watching a stab movie, and isolating yourself in a house. Now tonight, there is a good chance that Charlie Walker, yes, my Charlie Walker, may get lucky with a girl. Or he's gonna get killed by her. Why do I feel like it could be Kirby and Trevor? Ah! Oh my gosh. I just like scared the crap out of my dog. <laughs> oh, he put it on backwards. Now would be a really good time to make a movie. Why do I feel like she's the killer? Hey, guys. Whoa. Did, did you see Joe? Oh, Trevor. I didn't see her outside. You ruined the moment. That's better. So we know it's definitely not you. You can't, you can't, there's rules. I, I, I'm gay, I'm gay. The, uh, if it helps. Oh my gosh, it didn't help. You come with me, come with me right now, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It literally is anywhere Sydney is, even though she showed up after the fact, but still. Why do I feel like the cousin might be involved? I don't know, that'd be so messed up, but I feel like it. Sorry, it's just me. Look, I tried to call 911 with the landline stat and someone's trying to figure out her. Yeah, sure you did, Kirby. <laughs> I'm so suspicious of Kirby, but also, I don't know. And also, they're both here. There's three people. There's three this time. Trevor, Kirby, and the cousin, Jill. Someone else out here. Let me in. If you can't trust him, don't open the door. Oh, he's gonna die. It's not him. Find you. Look out. D oh, gosh. Look out as I just didn't let you in. And I'm literally actively doing nothing to help. Oh, this is just like in the first one with the boyfriend at the beginning. It's him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get Jill. We should be in the same place. Just, just keep him on the phone. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, it is totally Jill. I'm gonna be shocked if it's not Jill. Horror movies, Kirby. But do you like them as much as him? Forget watching Stab. You get to live it. Ooh, maybe it's not Kirby though, because now she's by herself talking to Ghostface. Ooh, what if it's just Jill and Trevor? Name the remake of the groundbreaking horror movie in which the villain. Halloween, uh, Texas Chainsaw, Dawn of the Dead, The Hills Have Eyes, Amityville Horror. You didn't, he didn't even finish. Friday the 13th. It's gonna be Street. Stab or Scream. Stab. Black Christmas House of West, The Fog, uh, Piranha. Right. Wrong. I won, Charlie. I fucking won. Oh, oh no. You tried to beat me, but I fucking won. No, this is too easy. Kirby, this is making a mistake. <gasps> ah! What? Oh my gosh, I was wrong. 
trust me now? <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> It's too late. Oh my gosh, I thought it was her up until like, like two seconds ago. Freaking Charlie. Okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> ah! Okay, but who else? Think anyone gets away? <laughs> oh! But where'd she get stabbed? Oh, what did I say? What did I say? I knew it. Your own flesh and blood. This is the part, my dear cousin, when the cameras turn off. So why, do, what is wrong with you, crazy? Already taken care of. So it was yeah, them I too. I was 50% right. Good, we'll cut and upload it later. Make it all traceable to Trevor. They were gonna blame Trevor, what? Oh, uh, so that's why I she invited him. Yo, please. Shut up. Just like your dad. Shouldn't have killed all those people, Trev, on and put it on video even. But it means a lot that you did it for me. Not Freaking crazy. Just because you got cheated on. Ah! Oh my gosh, she shot him there. We're perfect. No, 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 why do why, like why do you hate her so much? Because she has attention and you didn't? We're gonna know fame like you never even dreamed of. Why are they like, like saying like they're getting back at her for something? Like what? Oh, they were a thing. I was so believable today, wasn't I? I mean, I told so many lies that I actually started to believe them. I saw through them earlier. Do you know what it was like growing up in this family related to you? Oh my gosh. Do you know what it's like to almost get killed like 10 billion times? Come on. She killed him too. Not the way we rehearsed. Oh my gosh. Trevor and you. Billy and Stu, yeah. He really loves baby. He's a soul survivor. Oh my gosh. Trevor was your partner. Freaking crazy. You. You were the idea, man. <laughs> Don't need friends. I need fans. She's just obsessed with fame. It's never been about killing you. It's about becoming you. I mean, for fuck's sake, my own mother had to die. No great loss there, so I could stay true to the original. Oh my god, you just want to be a copycat then. We all live in public now. We're all on the internet. How do you think people become famous anymore? I hope Sydney kills her. New movie, new franchise. There's only room for one lead, and let's face it, your ingenue days, they're over. <laughs> what? What? Don't tell me you didn't know this day would come. Are you kidding me? For real? She just killed her? Her? This annoying little twat? Wait, is twat a, like, what is that? <laughs> Wrong choice of words. <laughs> this little brat. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. Yeah. Dang, that's kind of close. You think you would stab yourself? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope City didn't die, but I feel like she did. I'm so upset with this. <laughs> Like she even like laid like her. You're so obsessed with her. You had to become her. Crazy. Is is your wife? She's gonna be fine. She's recovering. If I ever write a book one day, I'd I'd want her to write it with me. She purposely didn't try to kill Gail then, probably, so she could have There's a book written about her. Too. They're not sure yet. Ooh. I didn't, but I saw Trevor kill her. Look, we don't know yet. Haha, -ha, Sydney, you better pull through. What is she gonna get up and go try to kill Sydney? She thinks you guys should write a book together with your matching wounds. Why she was stabbed in the shoulder? How did she know I was too? <gasps> she slipped up just like Sydney said she would. You just won't die, will you? Who are you, Michael fucking Meyer? Yeah, I don't think so. Come on, Dewey. Oh my gosh. Let's be done with her. No, you. Uh, <laughs> ah! 
Oh my gosh. Ah! Where the doctor is? Like, does nobody hear anything? Oh gosh, do we really? Oh my gosh, come on! Are we gonna get out of this too? Of course I will. Do we? What about the book? Looks like I'll just have to write it myself. What? Why did she tackle Gail? Oh, okay. <laughs> How many cops does it take to take this girl down? Don't do anything stupid. What? Oh my gosh! Clear. 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 <laughs> you forgot the first rule of remakes, Jill. Don't fuck with the original. Oh! That was super meta. Wait, what? Is she- oh, cause that's another rule, is they're never really dead the first time. Nice Wait, she lived? Hicks, you're alive? How did you live? Oh, the vest. The vest. Callbacks. We need a doctor, goddammit! I know, where is literally the entirety of the staff in this hospital? Bill Roberts is her name, the name the whole world will now know. Nope, Sydney Prescott once again. So this was interesting. It definitely had pieces of the original trilogy, but like it still felt very much like a reboot. I think out of all of them, this was probably my least favorite. I did like that they tried to switch it up in the end, um, but ah, the Jill, she just annoyed me. <laughs> she got on my nerves and I kind of saw it coming, but I do like that they did switch it up a little bit, but it definitely was not as good as the first one for sure, or the first two for sure. Even the first three. And the third wasn't even my favorite in the first place, but we did get our first female main ghost face, even though we did have the, the mom in that one, um, which is funny because that's what I was saying. It still stayed very meta. Like there was a ton of callbacks. Sometimes I was like, okay, are we getting almost too meta? You know, I'm really curious what other people thought about this, like screen fans who watched the originals and then saw this reboot like 11 years later. So I'm officially about to watch Scream number five. I can't believe this is already the fifth movie. I'm currently baking cupcakes, red velvet cupcakes, which looks like blood, which is kind of crazy. I haven't made cupcakes in a very long time. You know, I found out a year or two ago that red velvet is literally chocolate with like red dye. So it's probably full of like toxins or whatever, but do it for the vine. So I got these little decorations and then I also have some red icing for the top that I'm gonna do my best to decorate. So I'm in the same spot as last time because this was super cozy and I like it here. Anthony's right over here and we were like kind of casually talking-ish. I mean, not full, like I was obviously watching the movie, but like it was fun to be next to Anthony and like occasionally he would say something and make me laugh. I have my cupcakes. Honestly, like, I mean, I like cupcakes, I guess, but like they're not my first choice of dessert. I just made it because I thought they would be cute, but like I'd rather have a cookie. Mm. This one's also just called Scream, like not Scream 5 or anything. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay, phone call. Now is it gonna be the beginning of a movie or is this for real? This house kind of looks like a movie house, right? But this, we're also watching a movie, so I don't know. There's Jenna Ortega. You know, I didn't know if she was gonna be in this one or only the next one, but I guess she's in both. So I guess that must mean she survives. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we already know all the rules. Party, murder. You have asthma. Well, that's gonna come back into play. I like how she's just not answering the phone. Who has a home phone in 2022? Like, do they even do that anymore? Maybe Bill's face will text her. <laughs> oh gosh, it's always Hello? a boyfriend. They're like, oh, stop bothering me. There's Christina there. Generic no, boyfriend a name. I'm a friend of hers from group I had called. Okay, this doesn't sound like Ghostface, so I don't know what's going on here. Oh my gosh, is it Amber? Don't trust your friend, or is it a prank? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Am 
remembers looking particularly fetching <gasps> tonight. <gasps> she really shouldn't leave her phone lying around for anyone to clone. I told you I don't know who these movies. She likes bougie horror. You know, ask me about It Follows. Ask me about Hereditary. Ew, don't talk about Hereditary. It Follows is cool. It was introduced as the franchise's main character. This is Sydney Prescott. Our girl Sydney. Who wrote the original book? The stab movies are based on Gail Weathers. Who played the dumb bitch at the beginning of Stab One? Who answers the phone and gets carved up by the killer? I don't know who played it in the movie, but Drew Barrymore. Who was the killer in Stab One? There was two. It's Billy Loomis. It's and? Billy Loomis, and he was Sydney's boyfriend, and he was played by Luke Wilson, and I got you, asshole. Oh, I'm sorry, Tara, but that's just not correct. Oh, there was two killers. There are two killers in the original stab. I'm afraid someone's gonna die now. She got partial credit. Dang, Jenna Ortega's doing a good job. Oh, crap. <gasps> oh, crap. Did they clone your phone? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, what? Boy, she has to be in the next one. She has to survive. Oh, my gosh. Is he really going to kill her? Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What? Dang, now I have absolutely no idea where the movie is gonna go because I literally thought she was in the next one. Maybe I was wrong, maybe she's not. This one already is like really good. I can tell, I can just tell. Like that was a banger scream opening. Oh my gosh, that's what's his face from the boys. I just heard DJ Khaled, <laughs> he was like another one. <gasps> what? Doing, Does she Sarah? see things? <gasps> Antipsychotics aren't working as well as they used to, are they? What the heck? Fuck you. Is that Billy Loomis? Like, is that actually him or is that just the actor reprising a role? Hello, Samantha. My gosh. Who is this? Someone who knows your little family secret. Dang it, there's a family secret I need to know. She's not the only one I'm gonna hurt. I have to get you to come back here somehow. What the heck? Come and get me. With pleasure. <gasps> But, uh, no, she takes pills. This could be all in her head. Oh, now I don't know what to believe. Somebody help me. He's trying to kill me. Oh, I feel like it's all in her head. But also, I don't know. Because he could just be gone and, like, nothing. Mom used to keep those boxes up in the attic. I found these old diaries that she kept from high school. Sam, what is this? Please. Are they the kids of Billy Loomis? And I knew it was wrong, but I read some anyway because mom got pregnant with me in high school. Oh my gosh, Billy Loomis is their dad, isn't it? Mom was dating dad, but she was in love with this other guy. And he got her pregnant. Mm. And I'm sitting there in this attic and I'm 13. And I just found out my dad isn't my dad. So I go find mom in her bedroom and I'm screaming at her and shoving this diary in her face. And I didn't even realize that dad was standing right behind me. <gasps> he never knew. Oh my gosh. He found out right then from me. And then he left? He left that night. <gasps> I'm the reason he left. Oh my gosh. She never forgave me. And she made me promise never to tell you because you were so young. Oh my goodness. Well, the first of all, that's messed up that she blamed you. She never told the truth. Dang, this got deep and emotional. It was Billy Loomis. Oh my gosh, what? You're gone for five years. Five whole years. And then I get stabbed and you want to come back and you want to drop all this shit on me? No, I swear I thought I was protecting you. Protecting me from what? Get the fuck out! Dang, I kind of feel bad for her. Like, she carried a lot of this weight for, you know, she was the child in this situation for something that wasn't really her fault. Are you listening at the door? No, no, of course not. Oh my gosh, also that Billy Loomis is her father. She's having, like, psychotic episodes. Did she inherit that from him? Like, did it get passed down? And that's why she's taking medication to suppress it? <gasps> the layers, the intrigue. 
the drama. I love it. Good morning, I'm Gail Weathers. <sighs> oh, oh Gail, are they not together anymore? Are they together? What's going on? Why does it feel like they're not together? Your killer's obsessed with the stat movies, right? There's certain rules. The rules, the good old rules. Rule number one, never trust the love interest. <laughs> never trust the boyfriend. The killer's motive is always connected to something in the past. Being Billy Loomis daughter is a thing. You gonna call Gail? Does she have a baby? Hello. Hey Sid, it's me. Oh, Sydney. Do we? Does she have a baby? It's happening again. What are you talking about? Some idiot in a ghost face mask. Scale <sighs> no. No, she's my next call. I feel like she's not gonna be that involved. Maybe. I don't know. Randy was our uncle. R.I.P. Oh. Randy. <laughs> How's the wife? Okay, mom, we're good. Thank you. All right, kids. Have fun. Okay, so these were her kids. It's all connected. First three attacks are all on people related to the original killers. Oh my god, hmm. he's making a requel. A, a requel? Or uh, like a sequel. Fans are torn on the terminology. Remember the stab movie that came out last year? Oh yeah, the one the Knives Out guy directed, right? Knives Out? The hardcore stab fans hated it. You go on 4chan and dread it. All they're talking oh. about is how stab ate pissed on their childhoods. How they crammed in social commentary just to make it elevated. How the main character is <laughs> Mary Sue. What's a Mary Sue? <laughs> you really don't want to know. Mary Sue. Real stab movies are meta slasher whodunits hmm. full stop. I love how they're... You know, I love this. It sounds like our killer is writing his own version of Stab 8, but doing it as a requel. New main characters, yes, but supported by and related to legacy characters. So that's what they're exactly what they did with this one. A requel. They're the star. I think it's pretty clear who the killer is at this point. Who? You? You know, I kind of thought that earlier, but then I was like, I know, I don't know. Unless she's doing it and not realizing she's doing it, you know? Sam, wait. First fucking rule of these movies is don't split up. You just watched the movie like two days ago. Unless it's the boyfriend. Like. Billy Loomis. That's really cool that they had him in this movie. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that's his mom. Literally her entire friend group is like somehow related to stab, scream, stab. <laughs> Is she gonna get a call? Hello, sheriff. <gasps> what? Even the sheriff is getting a call from Ghostface? I'm a fan of scary movies. What the eyes. heck? What's your favorite scary Why her movie? though? By the time I see you, I'll have gutted your baby boy. <gasps> oh my gosh, and I literally was just suspicious of him. And it's definitely not him. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Was it all just a ploy to kill her? <laughs> like, are you just trying to take out all the characters from the other movies? Oh, or trying to redo the, like the last one, the one like we just watched. Is that what this is about? <gasps> oh crap, he's dying too. Fight back! Somebody fight back! Oh crap. I just want somebody to like fight back and kill Ghostface for once. Even though that would go against all of the laws of the movie. <laughs> but it would be fun. Oh my gosh. Ew! Ew! Even though you could totally tell it's like a prosthetic skin, but still, ew. Gail Weathers! Ooh. Text. Whoa. Ow. Well, tell me the killer is back in a text. It was my turn. It was a great opportunity. You said you'd try. And I did. For two what months. happened? Listen, if you want to make me feel worse than I already do, good luck. Ten, still back there in New York. Oh, he tried to live there and he couldn't, really? But I couldn't hack it. I left in the middle of the night. Oh my goodness. So he left her. <gasps> Who's that? Oh no! The gun is gone. Oh, oh, oh no, but it was him. Unless. I don't know. Oh crap, it's not him. It's literally not him.
Wait, but why didn't he? He wanted to stab her more, I guess? Tell you what. You can choose. I'll only kill one. Oh, gosh. Choose between them? Why are you doing this? You want to know why, Sam? Maybe it's because you're a selfish bitch who can't even make a decision. What the to heck? Save the life of why do you hate you Sam so much? Like, uh, what? Is, it's something personal. Oh, no. Or maybe I'm just stalling for time, fuckhead. <gasps> They're here! Oh, you go, Sam. I'm a little sus that Richie just didn't get immediately killed. Oh my gosh, no, Dewey, you didn't survive this long to die here. Get him, shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, make sure we get the head this time, because you know how they get with bulletproof vests. You have to shoot him in the head. They yep. always come back. Dewey, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I do. It's the rules. Okay, wait, no, but we just left Dewey by himself? What the heck? There might be more than one. Oh, I don't trust this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Really? Uh, they always freaking Oh no! Yes, today. <laughs> Dewey! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Dewey's really dying this time! Oh, Gail's calling! Oh my gosh! Oh, well, he killed off an original character. That's what they didn't do in the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sad. Dang. This one really was a lot more emotional. Oh, Sydney! She came back. Time. I don't know if her coming back was. It. I mean, obviously, I know why she did, but now I don't know if that was the best idea. I tried running too. It doesn't work. It always follows. All due respect, that's your life, not mine. I'm not so sure about that. What do you want mm. from me, lady? Hey, watch your tone, new girl. <laughs> new girl. It goes back to the original. <laughs> Like old lead, giving advice to the new lead. On my inhaler, I usually keep an extra one. Oh, crap. Should we go back? Whoa, okay. I vote for not going back to the murder hospital. Do you want to stop at a pharmacy? I need a prescription, but I left an extra one in Amber's. Is there a party going on there? What? Your friend's in the hospital and you're just like throwing a party? They're going to have to go to this party and we all know what happens at parties. To Wes! To Wes! Oh, it's like for him. <gasps> the basement. We know what also happens in the basement. You never go off on your own when there's a mask killer around. <laughs> You're the one that said we needed more beer. Yeah, and you should have asked me to come down here with you. You know what else you shouldn't do when there's a mask killer around? Unless one of y'all is the killer. Follow someone into a dark, creepy basement. <gasps> no, I don't know. Is that where this is going? I don't know. No, I don't know. Because I am. For real? Or are we kidding? I'm not actually. Okay, what is that? that be a lesson? <laughs> don't trust anyone. I'm gonna assume neither of y'all are the killer. Then how can I trust you when you say you're not the killer? Oh my gosh, stop toying with my emotions like this. Billy Loomis started this and we're gonna end it. After tonight, no more books, no more movies, no more fucking ghost face. But we know there's another one. Why are they literally watching it when their friend got stabbed and then the other one got killed? That's weird. Don't do that. Also, is this the house? Like the exact house? Or am I being crazy? This looks like the house, right? Don't go there. Oh my gosh. This is such a trap. Oh crap. Oh, why did you even go out there like that? Ooh. He was in the shed. What the heck? Oh, gosh. Whoa. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's, the oh, it's them. Oh, my gosh. And you just walked right into it. Tara, we're leaving. Is it weird that I'm suspicious of Tara? It doesn't make sense. It makes zero sense. But why did she conveniently want to come to this house, to this party? First house where your dad has still killed everyone. Someone plans to get oh, you there. Oh, see, I knew it was the now. house. Wait, is Amber the son of Stu? Or so, uh, related to Stu? What? There he is. 
Come on, man. Turn around. Turn around, dude. Oh my gosh. And it's literally happening to you. Oh shit. Where's the boyfriend though? He went downstairs to the basement. Where are you? What did you do to her? What? No, I, I didn't do anything. I it's her. It's the friend. It's Amber. Reggie, where the fuck were you? I just went to the basement to get some beer. You went to the basement alone? I asked her to come with me. She said no. Come on. <laughs> Stay the fuck back. <laughs> Nobody knows who anybody is. Nobody knows who it is. One of you is a fucking killer. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm so suspicious of Amber and kind of Tara. 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 How do you say her name? I'm not fucking killer. I know. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was Amber. Welcome to Act 3. Oh my gosh. There are always two killers. What, are you one of them? Oh my gosh. I think the other killer might be Tara. What? She's the one that brought us here, and you two have been estranged for years. Wait, that's what I said. <laughs> the guns. The OGs coming in here. Sounds about right. With literally no help ever from the police. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Don't oh, trust it. Stop. Come on, see through it. What do you think? Trap. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Gail got shot. Go finish it, Sydney. We're Dewey. Oh. Gosh, Sydney, back to where you were. <laughs> I like how she shot first. Back to where it all started. Mm, I don't trust it. I don't know if I trust Tara, which seems wild and crazy. Cause you know, everything, but I don't know. <gasps> She's questioning it. She's questioning it. Feel the same way though. I don't know if I trust her. Where'd you go? Oh, this isn't Amber. I'm the other one. Oh, there's two of you. Again. How original. Forgot the first rule of surviving a stab movie. Never answer the- I'm bored. Wait! Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, was that for real? Give me your hands. What are you doing in there? Uh, hiding from murderers. Mm. I told you to come out. I'm not gonna come out. You're shooting everything. <laughs> ah! Holy shit, let's go. Shoot again, shoot again. <laughs> shoot again! Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Get in on this. Why is the boyfriend not doing anything? Okay, okay, there he Oh, I forgot he got shot in the leg. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know who it could be. Yes, yes. Oh, don't do something weird and twist. Oh my gosh, Richie. Ah. Really wanted to be the one to kill you. Oh my gosh. But it really was the best choice for the movie. This isn't a fucking movie! No, but it will be. What is your grand motivation? Right, hon? Third eye. Hon? Check. Oh my god. Always reveal. Check. Time for the big finale! Uh. Someone has to save the franchise. See? No one has made a great Stab movie since the so first So they're just one. like fans of Stab and we're upset about the, the movie? You see the one Stab movie? Not really a fan of scary movies. That checks out. Anyway, it suck balls. It's <laughs> a true fan, seriously. We're just a fucking joke to them. Wow. Can fandom be toxic? <laughs> when the fans fight back? Oh my gosh. Hollywood's totally Fucking out of ideas. Oh my gosh, so you made your own. I met Richie on the staff subreddit. Subreddit? <laughs> Dewey had to, I make a deal. They're freaking crazy. Shit. So you longed to game this. Sequel. Because our movie has fucking stakes. Because anyone can die in a recall. Oh! oh! We can't let you live either. I mean, surviving this many times. <laughs> It would just be ridiculous. This time, the fans are gonna be the ones who win. Wait, the fans want her to die? What? You really should have listened to Dewey. He nailed it in one. Dude, look at the love interest. Are you fucking stupid? Uh -huh. I even had you convinced it could be your sister. Oh my gosh, and I thought that too. Oh no, they got me too. Even though I literally said at the beginning, don't trust the boyfriend. Amber, fan out, she couldn't have gotten far. I can't find her. Oh, oh. You go, Tara. I think it's Tara, but I keep saying Tara. Oh! 
the victim or that was radicalized oh shut up please it's not my fault i'm just a dumb kid i just wanted to be a part of something, part of something. oh my gosh time to pass the torch it's all yours bitch oh. Oh. Ah. you want to do the honors this one's yours come on gail Stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry about doing it. Oh my gosh, how many times are you gonna go back and forth? Ah! Ah! Literal torch. Oh my gosh. Dang, that that's freaking crazy. What are you gonna do now, huh? Make a scary phone call to me? Pop out of that closet in a ghost face mask? <gasps> Billy Loomis. Because you're the villain. And the villain dies at the end. <laughs> Never fuck with the daughter of a serial killer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang! Oh my gosh! She's been holding that one in. What about my ending? Oh my gosh! Nobody cares about your ending. <laughs> For good measure. Dang, this one was pretty brutal. Hey then. Ah! Oh, this one came back! Oh, okay. Wait, who was that? Oh. <laughs> Can't believe I thought it was her for like a whole hot second. At least I know what I'm gonna write about. What's that? <laughs> Not this. Those fuckers gonna die in anonymity. <laughs> yeah, don't give him the satisfaction. Oh, yeah, it's right about Dewey. Oh, the house. Oh, for Wes. I really liked that one. I liked it a lot. It really did feel like kind of like a passing of the torch, kind of like what they talked about, but in a in a very well done way because you have the originals there and it, it just felt right, you know? And like, I don't know if they're gonna pop up in the next one, like Gail or Sydney, or if it's just gonna be more like cameo uh, then. And then I don't know if they're gonna make more, but like from here on out, if it's more just kind of like, you know, the story is moving on because I mean, it makes sense. Cause like how many times is Sydney going to be the lead of a screen movie, you know, especially now that she's, grown up, has kids, has a life of her own. So funny because I always think that I know who it is and then I have suspicions. Like I did have a suspicion of the boyfriend, but like I, I really didn't think it was him towards the end. I did think it was Amber potentially, but them together. And his motivation was he didn't like the previous movie and he wanted to make his own in his twisted serial killer psycho mentality. I liked that a lot. I really like this movie. I thought it was significantly better than the last one, but it's funny because like they poked fun at that too. And I'm super excited for the next one. And I'm curious to see kind of the continuation of this and where it goes from here. I'm also really sad about Dewey. That's sad. You know, they had, they definitely, like they said, had stakes in this one. They killed one of the OG characters. Hello, Sydney. Pretty sure like three people drove by as I was out there. It doesn't make sense how people are killing people in this outfit. I can barely see, I can barely breathe. It's too much. I don't know how y'all do it. Imagine a Scream movie, but from the POV of whoever's in the mask, that's an idea. I'm scaring my dog. Oh no, I feel bad. Can't tell if he's getting the zoomies or he's getting scared. He's getting the zoomies. <laughs> feels like I'm doing something weird, but I'm just like accessing the button. <laughs> I got the mask that like lights up, so it's like blocking off my oxygen flow. Cause this is like not a mouth hole, it's just like solid electronics. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's like, if they take off the mask and they all look like fine and good and look how I just look. I'd be like, Sydney! <laughs> We're on the last leg of the journey here. This is the sixth and final Scream movie so far. I really enjoyed the last movie. I liked that it knew what it was being like a, I forgot the word that they called it, a requel? A requel. Like they, it knew what it was doing. It didn't try to like step on the originals. I enjoyed it a lot. It's probably one of my new favorite Scream movies of all of them, which is kind of crazy that it's like a newer one. I don't think it was as good as the first one, but I will be giving my definitive ranking of all of the screen movies at the end. A lot
lot of people really, really love this movie. Like, I think it has a very high rating on Rotten Tomatoes. By both audience as well as critic score, I will be the judge. Not really, we'll just see if I like it or not. I can't believe I'm already here to the end, you know? It's so crazy. The next one, I might even be able to go see in theaters, which is really cool. I'm so, so sorry. This is not the first impression I wanted to make on a college professor. Oh, associate professor and it's just film studies, so. <gasps> film studies! So you like film. What's your favorite scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer the phone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you just answer the phone. I can't tell if this is a bait and switch or if this is a killer. Is the restaurant near an alley? There is an alley. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm coming down the alley. Don't go on the alley. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're about to walk in an alley. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Oh, girlfriend, what are you doing? 20th century slashers, huh? Yeah. Oh, sure no, and you're literally on, on the phone. I'm sure. Oh, shit. He's following uh, me. What is this for? Like, I can't. Oh, this is luring her, right? Or is this for real? Where are you? He's got a knife. What? He's got a knife. What? This is this a the joke? Worst the worst part is, you teach a class about slashers. Oh, and gosh. Up into a dark alley. Of course, it's you. Literally, leave the alley. Oh, no. All that time studying film didn't prepare you for this one, did it? <laughs> studying slashers specifically. Dang, I'm kind of sad she died. I kind of liked her. <gasps> Whoa, we got a reveal this early on? That's different. Jason, are you and Greg gonna come to the OKB party? Well, if he finishes the Spanish project in time, yes, we will. So you're friends with a killer, Tara, another killer. Well, just like Sydney, your life is never gonna be the same. Watch him get killed by another killer, that'd be so funny. I just got massive blue balls and I had to practice. Oh, I'm not mad, Jason. Is this for real? You got to have your practice, I get mine. So we're getting to see the perspective of the killers early on, that's kind of crazy. Warmer. In the, f is it gonna be Greg in the fridge? Do you feel like an animal, Jason? That is wild. We have to finish the movie. Who gives a fuck about movies? Oh, what? Y'all, that was so good of an opening. Dang. If the rest of the movie's keeping that energy, I can see why a lot of people love this one. Ooh, is cute boy shirtless again? Creepy. <laughs> you guys have been checking each other out for months. Why don't you just talk to him? Just like staring at each other through the window? Maybe he's Ghostface. What are you doing here, Sam? You, you just follow me here and you won't let me out of your sight. So we have some more sibling tension once again. Hey, yo, yo. Murderer! Oh, shut up! You know, if you really think somebody's a murderer and like a psycho, you wouldn't want to be throwing water at them. Whoa! That y'all been a thing already? Y'all y'all are already been a thing? So that's why y'all are staring at each other through the window. Holy shit, that's that chode from our film studies class. The one obsessed with Argento. Also found at the scene were various ghost face costumes. It's happening again. Pack a bag. We leave in 10. Sam, well, I like how she just grabbed the knife. Like she was ready to go. She just has like mild serial killer energy. <laughs> she reins it in, but it's in there. Who is it? Gail Weathers. I did everyone just freak out when her phone rang. Have you not watched Stab? I was actually just about to call you. <gasps> Someone's trying to frame her. I'm going to show the world who you really are. A liar and a killer. I'm going what? to punish you, Sam. Killed who? You shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet, asshole. For what? Defending herself? <gasps> no, no. Oh my gosh, was that happening for real right now? Where's the boyfriend? Where's new boyfriend? You looked rugged, come help. Unless it is new boyfriend. Shut up! You got a He's just gonna. With guy? Are you gonna push oh! <laughs> Dang! This ghost face just like does not care. You're unhinged. Who are you? What the heck? Oh! No! Oh, he was a real one too. He was trying to defend them. Dang! This is like literally the most unhinged ghost face we've seen, and I'm kind of here for it. This was found next to the body at the apartment crime scene. DNA says that it belonged to someone named Richie Kirsch. It was his mask? Does that ring a bell? Well, I mean, obviously. So our roommate's dad just 
happened to pull our case. Isn't that like a conflict of interest? That feels like not allowed. I don't know. It shouldn't be allowed. Like a case involving your own daughter? I feel like you shouldn't be able to work on cases with your own family. Right? Like, you get too emotional? I think I can vouch for Quinn, so that's one less we have to worry about. Are you sure? Can I help you? <gasps> Kirby! Special Agent Kirby Reed, FBI. I work out of the Atlanta office. So this is how she returned. Gail Weathers, Channel 4. <gasps> Gail! You ladies think you're we the love you, Gail. the ghostface killer has come to the Big Apple? Oh! oh. <laughs> nice try, sweetie. But I've done this dance before. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> She always gets hit. You said you wouldn't write a book about what happened. And then you wrote a book about what happened. Oh, oh she wrote a book. <laughs> she always writes a book. You're a day early for trick-or-treating, you know. Oh! Oh my goodness. Ah! Dang! Well, why the therapist? Because she talked to him? Like, what the heck? Oh, her freaking file. Gosh. Like I said, this killer is unhinged. Who could it be? Like, I literally have zero clue. And typically I have like an idea of some suspects, but like, I don't know. The way I see it, someone is out to make a sequel to the requel. We're in a franchise. And there a are franchise. certain rules to a continuing <laughs> franchise. Everything is bigger than last time. Which it is. And rule three. Huh. No what does that mean? Who could safe. it be? Legacy characters, cannon fodder at this point. Don't tell me Gail is going to. Main characters are completely expendable now, too. Jigsaw, Tony Stark, James Bond, oh, and even no. Luke Skywalker all died so their franchises could live on. <laughs> I mask. What about you, Jay? You know it. It sure is going to be one spooky Halloween. Are you Ghostface? Hmm? Oh, no, he is definitely not. You're like, oh, but he can the see. Police. Is he gonna see? Hey, yeah, what's up, bitch? Oh! <gasps> Sam! Samantha! They can't hear you! <laughs> I feel like that was really- Oh my god, nobody sees! <laughs> Throw something! Pick up your phone, baby. Why don't you just run across to her? Oh, oh my gosh, this is frustrating! Somebody answer it already! It's fine, I'll, I'll call him back. Oh okay. my gosh! Bye. Send a text. Gentlemen call her back at it again. No, she's dying. It's probably the boyfriend, right? Coming over? Oh no. I thought that was the front door. Oh my goodness. Dang, she got super stabbed. I'm surprised the boyfriend didn't like come over and help at all. That's weird to me. Oh! oh, that's the guy. Oh my gosh. Why haven't you came over? I'm so shocked that he hasn't come over. Is it like hard to get over? Maybe he's in a different building. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? You have a better idea. Something feels weird about this whole situation, right? I don't know. Like he just stood there in the window this whole time while everybody was dying. You didn't call the police or anything. And we already don't dress boyfriends. We never have and we never will in Scream. Let's go. Yo, let's go. I don't think she can make the trip. Oh, she's not gonna make it. Well, go faster! I'm surprised she hasn't bled out yet. Can they pull her in or something? Like, come on, she's so close! Oh, gosh! Oh, my goodness! God, I just can't tell if I'm suspicious of him or not. Like, I don't want it to be him, but also, I don't know. I don't know who I can trust. Not even you. <laughs> it's a movie theater. It's not just a theater. It's a shrine. A shrine to all the killers? <gasps> Whoa, it is. It's like, oh my goodness, it's like a museum in here. That's crazy. This is Uncle Randy's. They've got everything. How did they get all this stuff? Wouldn't it have been in like evidence and stuff? Hey, how'd they get all this stuff? I mean, isn't this evidence? That's what I said. Cops like money and evidence mm. can get lost pretty easily. Is that the first one? Is that her dad's in the case? Billy Loomis? Yeah. Hot damn, how fucking cool is <gasps> this place? Is she hearing him again? Fuck yeah. Oh no. Come on, Sam, you gotta be excited to get our murder on again. Billy and Sam. 
TV. It's weird that I kind of like it though that he's talking to her. <laughs> TV that killed Stumacher. The TV. If you believe he's dead. Oh, why wouldn't he be dead? Hey, get out of my car. Just in the car. What do you think you're doing? That's an official vehicle. Hey. Do you really think we're gonna steal a police car and not use the sirens? That's a felony. Not the food. It's for you. Oh no. Who is it? May I ask this column, please? Your new boyfriend or husband is here. We saw him for two seconds, and he's about to die, isn't he? Hello. Hello, Gail. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. Oh, yeah, he's never talked to Gail. You couldn't stop what happened to Dewey, just like you're not going to be able to stop this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what is that? Oh, a gun. Uh. Come on, Gail. Okay. I don't feel like he was there. You missed. Sure I did. You win. I'm in the elevator heading for the ground floor. Oh, I don't trust that. You would have made a good killer, Gail. You cracking under the pressure and turning into Ghostface would have been a great twist. That would have been an interesting twist, but I'm glad it didn't happen. Can you hold, please? What? Did she just hang up on him? Oh. Oh, Gail with the big brain move. Oh, Gail! Oh my gosh, what the heck? You had the gun and everything. Come on, get the knife and get him. Stab, don't even wait, don't even, yes. Oh no! No! Oh no, Gail, no! Oh. Oh, Sam is here. I'm sorry. Come on, Gail always survives. That's her thing. Tell Sydney he never got me. Gail? Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me she's dying. Oh no, but they said nobody was safe. Nobody's safe. The legacy characters, they literally said for the nostalgia. Oh no. She died, Somebody didn't pulse. she? Get the oh, oh, not yet? Move now. I hope she pulls through. I feel like she's gonna pull through. <laughs> Where were you, Danny? Where were you? As fast as I could. But the goat, the whoever was Ghostface got shot. So do you have a shot on you? Did you get shot anywhere? This guy. What if he really is? Oh no. But are you just a costume? Nobody knows who anybody is. What is up with this one? Oh, I like how Danny got in front. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna be right in front of her. No! <gasps> oh yes! Oh no! Right through! Oh, on the train! Oh my gosh! But that's making me suspicious of Ethan. But I don't think so, right? Oh no! Let's get you all inside. Not you. What? Oh, she doesn't trust him. Don't trust anyone. Remember, we don't know you. It's Awkward. Really. You know me. Hey, the last boyfriend. We know what happened there. I'm sorry. It's okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, if he's real about that, then that's very understanding and nice of him. But now him not being there can even prove more so that it might be him, right? I don't know. So, this is the only way in or out. He steps in through the first door, both doors lock automatically, trapping him inside. If that even works, he could have another entrance. Unless it's you, Kirby, imagine. It's Kirby the whole time. Or is that what they want us to think? But like, why though? I guess, why she would assume she was the, the one behind it all? You're smarter than this, Sam. Grab a weapon and clear this place yourself. Listen to your father, Sam. Grab the weapon. <laughs> oh no. Why is there still blood on it? You think they would have like tested it and wiped it away, right? I don't know, did they leave the blood on murder weapons like forever? Kirby. Why am I not trusting Kirby? But like she said she had been monitoring them for a while, but like what could she have found that would have proven it was her? That doesn't make any sense, like how it could have been her. Or like, did she just think in her mind it was her? Hello? Get everyone out of there, Sam, you're not safe. I heard from the Atlanta field office. They said Agent Reed's been on a downward spiral <gasps> since the Winsboro murders last year. They fired Kirby two months ago for being mentally oh unstable. Oh my gosh, is it freaking Kirby? Why did I suspect that? Oh no. Once she said I was the only one who has the way in or whatever. I actually, 
Whoa! He took the leap. <laughs> is it Kirby? Or is somebody else working with her? Come on, y'all. Three against one. Come on. Oh my gosh, there was another one. Of course there was two. Oh no, chat. Oh no. That one was frustrating. That was a frustrating death. There's three? How many, what, why, why are there so many of us? How many are there? Come on, motherfucker! Who's that? It's okay! Oh! What? What are you doing? Wait, why do I not trust I him? I don't trust him. Wait, no, what is going on? I don't know what to believe! Whatever he's been saying to you, don't listen to him. He's probably the killer. What? <laughs> of course, he was in on it. Is it cool? Is it the daughter? Was it fake? Frankly, I expected more from the two of you after what you did to us. Is it the daughter, the son? Oh my gosh! Not, uh... Dang! They really got me with him. You know, I kind of had suspicions about the cop. Wait. Yeah. If it's you two, that just leaves. Quinn. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, roomies. Yeah. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Yeah, because you died. You kinda didn't, though. So. It was all fake. Yep, and I just made sure I was first on the scene so I could switch her body out with the fresh one. Oh, uh, which, you know, it was kind of suspicious that he was even handling her case in the first place. But why, though? Why? You're a killer. Just like your father. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, you motherfucker. You killed our brother. They had another brother? You said your brother died in a car accident. What brother? No, 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 no. you sweet dumb thing. He died in Woodsboro. Richie? You're Richie's family. Oh my gosh, the family connection. Well, your son was freaking crazy. This is kind of like Billy Loomis's mother all over again. He was so pathetic. Huh? Is that true? Yeah, your son. Oh, you go, Sam, you go. He was a man baby who made his girlfriend do all the killing. He was a limp dick little fuck who uh -huh. cried before I slit his throat. Oh. Oh, yeah, Kirby. Recognize this? Fuck you. The knife all in the same spot. But she has scar tissue. It's like Dewey. What are you going to do about it, bitch? Oh, dang! You know she has that serial killer in her. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. The dad's not gonna like this. Oh! All right, for the dad. Oh, crap. Dang, she just ran at him. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> she's gone. She's becoming Ghostface. Oh, and she's doing the call. Hello, Detective Bailey. How'd you get the voice changer, though? Who do you think they're gonna believe? Ah! Probably the one who's still alive. <gasps> ah! and the mask and everything. No, no! Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Dang! Would you look at that? My father was a murderer. Hey, this was self-defense. I'm better than that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but you did fuck with our family, so. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh! I promise you, I'm gonna get so much therapy after this. <laughs> I'm serious. <gasps> oh! What? Is oh, cause they never die. <laughs> what was it? Was it Kirby? Yeah. I saw that in a scary movie once. I just killed several people, but it was out of self-defense. Hey, we got another one here. Did Chad live? <gasps> Chad! Yay! Chad. <laughs> oh, I didn't want you to die. What does that mean, Sam? Sam. Coming? Let it go, Sam, just let it go. I did it! I watched all the screen movies! 
I feel like in this one, I just grew to really, really love Sam even more as a character. And I just love the whole her father was Billy Loomis thing and that she has like a little bit of repressed serial killer energy within her. It's so fun. And I like that they kept it fresh and new and just kind of like twisted up a lot of the typical tropes, but still kept it true to what Scream really was. I liked it a lot. So watching all the Scream movies has been a journey, but like a fun journey. It's been a fun experience. I'm glad that I finally am in the loop. I'm in the know. When I started this, I had zero clue that Ghostface was gonna be different people every time. Like I had no idea, so definitely makes sense how there's so many Scream movies now. I also totally understand why people love these movies. They're just so much fun to watch. You already kind of know what to expect because that's just how these movies are, but the fun of it is trying to guess who's the killer, getting thrown off by the plot twists, seeing what little changes they might make, what meta references they do. They're just really good times. With that being said though, there are some in my opinion, for me, that were definitely better than the others. So I'm gonna give y'all my ranking. I don't know if this is gonna be like controversial or not, but I'm also a brand new fan to Scream, so you're not allowed to make fun of me. <laughs> Just kidding. You can make fun of me if you want. Actually, why don't y'all put your rankings in the comments below, and then we could all kind of compare with each other's. Number one, the original, the first one, Scream 1. That, in my opinion, was the best one. I feel like Billy and Stu, you kind of just can't really beat them. It's the original for a reason, and it's also just such a great movie. Like, that opening scene will stick with me forever. Especially going in blind for a second, I literally thought Drew Barrymore was gonna be the main character, and it was so much fun to just get that, like, thrown in my face and like, no, that's not where this movie is going. I also didn't know the structure of the movies. I didn't know that they would play into the meta aspect of it that much. So everything was super fresh to me and it was super fun. I kind of felt like I probably went in just like other people went in when the movie first came out. I don't know necessarily because I knew of Ghostface, but I'm glad I didn't know much about Scream because I think it really did enhance my experience. Number two, Scream 2. I feel like Scream 2 was a super solid slasher. I liked it a lot. Billy Loomis's mother coming back. I feel like a lot of people don't actually talk about Billy Loomis's mother that much. I mean, not that I'm like super involved in Scream talks or anything like that, but I think Billy Loomis's mom is an underrated Ghostface. Number three, is probably gonna be, oh, this might be controversial, Scream 6, oh my gosh. Okay, let me explain myself. I feel like Scream 5 and Scream 6 honestly are kind of like neck and neck, like they're pretty close in terms of rankings, but Scream 6 goes a little higher for me for the sole fact that I like how the ghost faces kind of killed very crazily. Like they killed that guy in the convenience store. They went and just like killed the therapist. I liked how kind of unhinged it was. And then number four would probably be Scream 5. With these ones, we got introduced to our new main characters, Sam and Tara. Sam more so is the main character. The funny thing is I actually saw a lot of people talking about how they didn't like Sam. Like I saw this after I finished all the movies and I totally didn't feel that while I was watching it. I, I kind of liked Sam actually. Like obviously she's never gonna be Sydney. She's She's not Sydney, but to have a character that's the original antagonist's daughter become the future protagonist while still dealing with these serial killer tendencies and psycho tendencies in her head, I just thought it was super fun and it was a fun concept and I liked it a lot. I do understand the criticisms though that kind of her, her portrayal of the character maybe came off a little bit flat or like lack a little bit of emotion. I do see that for sure. Part of me wonders, like, was it intentional because she's on so much medication and she's dealing with a lot of stuff in her head or was it just like, you know, coincidental? That's just how the actors maybe portrayed it. Regardless, I actually like Sam. I don't know if that's like me saying I like Rey Skywalker, which I don't, but I like Sam. So my fifth one would probably be Scream 4. Now, when I first watched this, after I finished it, I kind of was like, uh, I don't know if I really liked it that much. Like it, it wasn't an unenjoyable movie. Like I still had fun throughout it. Like obviously you can see during my reactions, but just overall, it just didn't hit the same as like the first two. Upon editing and rewatching it, I did did actually come to grow a little bit of an appreciation for it. I think the thing though for me was I just kept getting so annoyed by, I think her name was Jill. I think I just was annoyed with her motivations more so than anything, but it was kind of funny seeing herself like beat herself up at the end. <laughs> like I said, I came to grow a newfound appreciation for the fourth movie. Even though it was my second to last favorite movie, I do understand why some people could like that one a lot. I also actually really enjoyed the opening, like the cold opens, not knowing what was going on. They try to do something different there and I thought it was fun not knowing whether we were watching the next Stab movie or the actual Scream movie that we were watching. But 
but there definitely was a different feel to that movie than the original. So going into it from the first three, definitely there was there was a difference in feel. <laughs> Lastly, it's probably gonna be Scream 3. I think I just was a little bit underwhelmed with the ghost face reveal. The idea of like a secret brother is cool in theory, but I also feel like it's kind of been done a lot. And I think maybe if it would have been executed just a little bit differently, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. But like they kept hyping it up like, oh, the, the third in a trilogy can go wild. Like so much could happen. And then it was like, oh, surprise, brother. I don't know, it was just kind of whatever to me. I think in that movie too, something about the plot line, like leading up to, to the final act, it just wasn't that exciting to me. I also just didn't really care as much about like the, the actors acting like the actors, which was super meta in and of itself, which was kind of a cool concept, but I just didn't really feel an attachment to their characters that much. I do know that there's a seventh movie coming out. That's gonna be so exciting. I wanna go see it in theaters, which I've never gotten to see a screen movie in theaters. I've never really cared to because I've never really seen them before, but now I'm gonna be looking forward to it. I'm curious what they do with the rest of the story with Sam and Tara. Tara? I can never know how to say her name. I'm secretly wishing for like a villain arc for Sam. I don't know why. I think it'd be so fun to see her become a ghost face and like give in to those dark side tendencies, even though it wouldn't make sense. It, it wouldn't make sense. But it, it would just be fun. I don't know. I don't know if that's like breaking all the rules to make your protagonist be Ghostface the whole time because like they kind of joked about that before, but who knows? All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for coming on this Scream journey with me. I want to do more videos like this in the future. Anthony and I as well. This was kind of like my little journey, but we can do stuff together too. There's a lot of franchises of shows and movies that we both haven't seen that we've been wanting to explore. And this might be a way for us to do that without having to go episode by episode or movie by movie and have y'all wait weeks, months, or even years <laughs> for us to finish a show or a movie series. So let us know if there's anything you might want us to react to next in this kind of format. Let us know if you liked the vloggy elements. I had a lot of fun filming this video and we'll see you next time.